I'm Andrew with Investors Hub, and today we're going to talk to ADVFN CEO Clem Chambers about what he thinks is going to happen with gold. When gold takes off, it is going to double. If you're not already there, check out our U.S. website, investorshub.advfn.com, or our international website, advfn.com. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff on YouTube. Comments are really important. We want to know what it is you want to see, what color tie I should wear, you know, whatever. Just uh, give us a comment. It pleases the algorithm. And uh, let's talk to Clem. So how has gold been trending in the market recently? Well, it's actually been going down. And it's been going sideways and down. And, you know, everybody was expecting it to do a big run on the fact that the Fed is, is printing so much money, but it stopped. And it's not only is it going sideways, it's going down a little bit. But I don't see that as a bad thing. I just see that as a pause. Now, when things go ballistic, they go on a you know, parabola, and just go vertical. That's normally a sign of the end of a run. But when something goes up strongly and stops and consolidates, well, that's normally a, a good base for a rise in the future. Now, I've been out of gold because there was a pullback earlier on that I thought might turn into a crash just before the election. And when the American market crashes, which, it, you know, there's still a high probability in my mind that there will be a nasty crash. Maybe it'll be a big correction. Maybe it'll be another blip. Maybe the Fed will come out and save it again for the I don't know, fourth time. Maybe it'll crash sometime in the, in, in the middle of the year. But when it does, Everything's going to go down like a ton of bricks because, you know, the market is so levered that people will be getting margin calls. And they'll go, oh, what can I sell to make margin on my Apple or my Tesla or whatever crazy position they've got? And they will sell their gold and they will sell their, you know, whatever's boring to cover margin. And that means everything falls out of bed and crypto will fall out of bed and gold will fall out of bed and excess will fall out of bed. Now, the gold will then rally. And the Bitcoin will then rally. And I kept in Bitcoin because Bitcoin will rally first and will rally hard. And it will be impossible to time that. Now, it's quite possible to time gold because it's a bit sluggish. So that's why I'm out of gold and still in crypto. And that's fortunate because gold hasn't gone up and crypto has gone through the roof. And, you know, I couldn't be a happier bunny. Um, so gold is just sat there. Now, what the call you've got to make is, are we going to get deflation or are we going to get inflation? Now, the economists say we're going to get deflation, oh, everything's sad, and, you know, um, oh, we try to make inflation, we can't manage it, you know, even though it seems that Turkey can manage it quite easily, and, you know, Africa can imagine, um, can whip up some inflation with no problem, and Venezuela, not noted for its economic um, smarts, can whip up inflation, but somehow the West can't manage it. But anyway, they seem to think that um, you can't do inflation, unless you're some sort of magical African dictator. Um, they can't manage to get inflation. So it's going to be deflation. All the problems with uh, the economy is going to mean it's going to be deflation. Prices are going to fall. Well, if that's going to be the case, then you don't want gold because deflation would be bad for gold. And now gold bugs will say, well, you know, deflation is good for gold and inflation is good for gold and no deflation and no inflation is good for gold. Everything's good for gold. It's all going to be good for gold. But that's not true. Deflation is bad for gold because if you've got cash and you've got deflation, your cash becomes worth more. So your cash goes up with value. You can buy more house, you can buy more beer, you can buy more car for the same amount of money. And that's why economists don't like it, because people hang on to their cash and go, I don't want to spend this cash. I don't want to generate taxation with my cash because I'm going to hold on to it and it's going to go up in value. Yay, I'm going to sit here and just wait. And of course, that's bad for economic activity. With inflation, people go, oh my God, my, my cash is getting burnt by this inflation. I've got to spend it, buy a car, um, buy some food, buy a house, buy some stocks. Got to get out of this cash. Well, you know, I do not believe they can keep printing this money and not get inflation. Now, there's an interesting uh, thought that um, somebody uh, brought up recently. And it's kind of the other side of my argument that QE doesn't make inflation because it goes into the top of the wealth pyramid and trickles down. And no one likes to trickle down because it means you don't get a big dollop of free money. Well, you know, at the top, you know, someone gives you, if someone gave me, I'll be straight, it's going to sound like bragging, but I don't mean it. If someone gave me 100 grand tomorrow, I wouldn't spend a penny more than I was going to spend tomorrow anyway. It just, I mean, it, it make my day. But crypto going to the roof has certainly made my week and my month, but it's not going to make me spend any more money. I've got plenty of money. 
I've got, you know, as much money as I need. I don't have a yacht. If I had a yacht, I need a lot more money, but I don't. I've got enough, so I'm not going to go out and spend more. I'm not going to go, whoopee, I'm going to spend money on more stuff. But if I was, you know, hard up or, you know, young and up to my ears in debt, as soon as I get some money, not only do I need to spend it, not only do I want to spend it, I am going to spend it. So, boom, people that are well off don't create inflation. If your Apple stock goes up in value, you don't run out and buy a car, right? But if you give somebody that's working at uh, McDonald's 10 grand, he sells his jalopy and buys a decent car immediately and might even take out some credit to do it. So money going at the bottom of the wealth pyramid is actually inflationary. So this K recovery, which everyone's just talking about, where the rich get rich and the poor get poorer and the wealth inequalities open up, well, that's actually deflationary. Whereas if you actually close that gap, that's actually inflationary. And boy, are the politicians worried about people with pitchforks running down the street complaining about inequality. So they're going to be closing that gap. And that's going to be really inflationary. So you don't have to think about j Powell printing cash to realize that the future is inflationary. Because they're going to try to close that wealth gap, which I think is, is actually quite dangerous, not for, for social purposes, but economically. But they will close that gap. And that will be inflationary. And then gold will go up. And gold will go up a long way because not only they're printing money, they're going to try to support the, the, the poor and the once not poor. But now, thanks to COVID poor, they're going to try to slip them a lot of money and they're going to go out and spend it. And that's going to be inflationary. And actually, I support that. I don't mind. You know, I'm going to navigate this inflation because I'm going to be in inflation hedges and I'm going to do really well out of that. And, you know, the people that need it most are going to get lots of bailouts and lots of support. And that's really, really good. But that is going to generate inflation and that is going to really drive gold. And this oh no, is going to be deflated. It's not going to they're going to they're going to print money and keep printing money. And they're going to try to close that inequality gap. And that if you, you say that making the rich richer is deflationary and the trickle down is therefore not inflationary. So you can go QE all you like, print all the money you want as long as you hand it out to the rich that then lets it filter down because all they do is bank it. And then the banks go out and say, hey, how would you like to borrow this money at 20% on your credit card? <laughs> so, you know, rich people having money, it doesn't stick with them. It's not under their bed. It's in the banks. And the banks go out to not so well off people and say, how would you like to borrow this? And we'll own you forever. You know, you'll, you'll be a debt surf. And that is how the money gets into the system. And it's slow and enables production to catch up and it's not inflationary. Well, that was then, this is now, and they are gonna be and have handed out money at the bottom of the pyramid. Hey, have some free money. Hey, have a paycheck from us. Have an extra whatever it was, $400, $500 a month, free, government dole, bang. Well, you know, that money went straight into the system. That went straight into Robin Hood. That pushed a lot of stocks up because people went, actually, I don't need this money, but thank you very much. I'm gonna gamble it on Robin Hood. But a lot of people that did need that money, where they not spend it, is they keep up that pushing, as I believe they will, not only because it'd be needed, because a lot of people will be on their uppers, but because they want to close that inequality gap they're all scared about. Well, that is going to really push inflation. That is really going to push gold. And when gold comes out this current channel, and you can see it very clearly, when it suddenly does that, it's going to go ballistic. And that's what you need to watch out for. And when that happens, you need to dive in boots first and go very, very long by the big caps. If you must get into the crazy stuff, you know, uh, by all means, that'll do great too. But when gold takes off, it is going to double. Mark my words. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit investorshub.advfn.com to check out all of our awesome investing tools to help you get ahead. And uh, see you again soon. It's gold here on Investor's Hub. Blech.